Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim. Coming to you from, where am I at? Back here in the bedroom. Got you in the bedroom with me. <laughs> well, what it is, I just came back from dinner uh, at Fred and Raffaella's. She made me that chicken piccata again with the lemon. Oh, man. I'm telling you, but guess what? I was jealous as heck. She even told me she's making pasta tonight, but I can't have that. So she whips up a plate of, my favorite pasta is um, um, penne pasta. She served Fred, been serving him 60 years, a plate of penne pasta with meatballs and the red sauce, delicious big meatballs it was so pretty i actually have a picture of it i might add it at the end of this video i took a picture of his plate wow um i might even i took a little video of his plate and uh, i'll probably add that uh, to this video so miss raffaella did my laundry for me today and i'll tell you why i do my own laundry let me hang this up i'll tell you so we come back from our, um, did my eye drops over there too. We come back from Georgia and, you know, I brought my stuff home and got my cars here. And then I went over there this morning. She had left some oatmeal and some raisin bran and I don't know, one other thing, her scooper for her coffee that I was going to return to her. And I didn't want to wait another day or two. I mean, people want their stuff. She want, Maybe she wanted some cereal today. So I uh, put everything in a car. And after I went to the car wash, and um, uh, I went over there. And then I went to the gym after I left their house. But when I was there, she kept telling me about bringing my laundry and, you know, to wash my sheets. The only reason is I just didn't know if the laundry mat was going to have electricity. That's all. I, I, I have no problem doing my laundry. So I took it over there, folded it up. I got a whole basket of uh, clothes here. Take a look. Let me show you. I got my selfie stick. It's really long. So all that's in there. And uh, hang on. I'm sorry. Put you back right here. And so I'm going to hang these up and, and talk to you guys. And I went to the gym. We got to talk about this carnivore diet. I'm still on it. I'm not quitting. I'm 204 and a half on Fred's scale. Yesterday evening, I was 203. Uh, when I went to the gym today, I did lift. Uh, I'm doing the weights. And I was talking to another good friend of mine that actually lives in Georgia, uh, him and his wife, very lovely people. And he actually uh, is a kind of got a medical background and so does she. So he knows a lot about nutrition and how our bodies work with the fat and the muscle. And you've all heard that muscle weighs more than fat. And this keto carnivore Atkins diet that I'm on is, you know, no carbs. Now carbs, I'm being educated on all this. I've heard all this but I'm being refreshed. And I'm so if I'm boring you, like, I know all that. Well, let me just tell you. Carbs is what give us our energy, right? You go to the gym, you're going to burn carbs first, all your sugars. Your body stores fat. But when you eat nothing but protein, which feeds muscles and helps it grow, when you go work out and burn calories, uh, your body has to hit the reserves and burns that fat. And I guess that's how you lose weight. But my friend was telling me, don't be so concerned about the scale because weight, uh, muscle weighs more than fat. And um, some of you said, you can tell I've, I've lost a little. I mean, it's only been about eight or nine days. But man, I'm hungry. I eat. You said I can eat this meat and this cheese. Now, I found out that these uh, pistachio nuts that I've been eating like a squirrel are probably 
good in protein, but very high in carbs too. So no more of those. So that might've been a setback. I ate two bags of them while we were up there and I had no walking and no lifting weights or anything. Um, what were we gone? Three, four, five days? I forget. Up there. So, uh, with the combination of eating just the meat and no carbs, today I lifted and I did walk. I didn't do the stairs over there. I'll be honest with you, I felt lazy. I felt like even walking was arduous or boring. It's hot. And I, I wasn't motivated. And I'm not walking with someone. I tried to trot a little bit. I said, I quit that in about, <laughs> in about 50 feet. I said, I ain't running. So I got through it though. And I got more vigorous walking going. I started walking very fast and I started warming up. It's just about getting back into it. So this is an exercise, uh, evening chat. <laughs> um, You guys like the color of this shirt? It's a red, burgundy, I don't know. Like I said, I bought one of each color. So um, I think that this week I'll make my next week on the carnivore, I'll see some good gains or losses, I should say, uh, with the, uh, the gym. And uh, hitting those stairs. What I do is I put the hanger in and I, I do the top button. Kind of particular. And um, so I did that today. Went to the gym, went to the park. Then I went back and got my clothes and at 5.30 and had dinner. That chicken piccata with a lemon. Oh my gosh. But man, was I jealous about that meatballs and that. Penne pasta. It was a, you'll see. I'm going to put the clip on there at the end of this video. You'll see. I think I might have videoed it in landscape, though. I mean, uh, portrait. So it's going to look weird. You don't do that when you're uploading videos to YouTube. You always video in landscape. Um, so I want to play some golf and... Things are really um, coming together uh, very fast over here where I live as far as gas and power and all that kind of stuff. So that's a good thing. I mean, I went by three gas stations on the way back from uh, Fred and Raffaella's and there was no line. People were buying gas. So that the we have countless uh, trucks, you know, that fix the electric poles, countless. Uh, they're all staged down here, all around. They're all around. You see them everywhere. I've been through hurricanes where you were like, where are those guys? If I see one, man, I'm going to be really excited. I'm going to get my electric back. And I've read some comments. Um, there's a gentleman over here next to me in Palmetto. He doesn't have gas, ice, or power. And uh, I feel for you. But I mean, all you got to do is drive across the bridge here. You can get you some. We got it over here. That's only down the street. Um, it'll probably be all up and going. Now, the mess, the mess, oh my gosh. There was lots of devastation, lots of destruction. Mobile homes, businesses, certainly on the coast. <clears throat> but what you really see that makes it very ugly is the debris piles. There are mountains on every street in certain areas of Sarasota, all the area that's closer to the water. The more you go inland up to uh, I-75, like over in Lakewood Ranch where Fred and Raffaella live, I mean, it's like nothing happened. So, the, you know, the tree limbs and the twigs and all that. Everything was, uh, all widow makers are gone. 
You know what a widow maker is? If you ever go camping in the woods or hang a hammock, you get out in the woods anywhere, you look up and you look for a tree limb that's either hanging, that's already broke off, ready to fall with the wind, or a bad, rotten looking uh, dead limb that could fall on you and make you a widow, a widow maker. So you always, you know, look for that. So every widow maker there was in every tree in Manatee, Sarasota County, uh, Pinellas, Hillsboro, is on the ground. Uh, nature came in and shook everything, and they're all pruned. There's nothing but healthy green uh, limbs now on every tree. There's nothing that needs to be cut. I'm being facetious, but all the dead limbs are off. And so it looks like a mess. And then, of course, all the vulnerable places like mobile homes that had carports with just one aluminum leg holding this roof that you park under. I mean, there's no strength there. So the wind took that. All of those, I, I mentioned it earlier, those white plastic vinyl fences, once one end or one middle section comes off from the wind, I think they're connected, it just yanks them all out like dominoes. And they're just the... the uh, the, uh, what do you call the pieces in between? The slits or something? Uh, panels? They're just laying around everywhere, but people have stacked them up. If we would have come back a day sooner than we decided, uh, which I said, you know, let the uh, electric come on. Let the gas, let the, let the bushes in the streets and all the debris be cleaned out so you can move around. And that's exactly what would have been if I'd have came earlier. I mean, you wouldn't have been able to drive down any street. And I, can't, I don't know who these people were that came, but everything is off the streets and on the curb or at the end of the yard of people's houses. But it's just a sea of it. I don't know how they're going to pick all that up and how long it'll take. Crazy. So I don't know if people this season are going to want to come down that are you know what I mean? Tourists that stay for a week or two and go to the beaches and enjoy the uh, the state, the coastal areas, uh, because of the beaches being, you know, a lot of the sand is now, you know, blocks inland. The sand on the beach is now over here. Saint Armand, Siesta Key, um, devastated, devastated. I saw a couple of YouTube videos tonight. There was. Not so deep, but water way in that did go in the stores and stuff. But they just got hammered uh, from Helene. So I don't know how long it takes to build back. And I don't know about these people that did destroy, get destroyed or water damage from storm surge are going to want to stay here. They might just want to sell at anything they can get and get out of here and go back north, California, New York, wherever they came from. I don't know. I could be wrong because there's no more hurricanes, hopefully, coming. We don't officially end on November 30th, so it's really kind of premature to say that. But we just hope no more come after three in a row. And, you know, but that's got to have made people, you know, think about the insurance costs now, the time it's going to take to rebuild. It's really a, it would make me think about blowing out. So anyway, before I put these clothes away, we'll finish up here. And I'll add that little clip of that good food. <clears throat> uh, like I said, I haven't even disconnected my truck yet. I'll do that tomorrow. Put my jacks down and, uh, you know, get everything ready here. Um, I've experienced no loss once again because... I can leave, and I own everything. Everything I own in my life is in here. So, um, and it, it's really paid for itself, uh, taking uh, Fred and Raphael and myself out of here uh, to Georgia. And I can go anywhere in this country and call home. I can live anywhere I want. And there's a certain um, freedom about that that I like. <clears throat> and that, you know, it's just me, so... You know, I don't have all these other things to worry about. 
And um, we're going to find out what's going to go on. I told Raffaella tonight, you know, it used to take, I'm 65, it used to take 10 years for, you know, when you make a statement, I said to her, I go, what do you think is going to happen? And I just meant that in general. Not anything about hurricanes, just our country. You know, what do you think is going to happen? Now, most people would say that in the past, what do you think is going to happen in the next few years? What do you think is going to happen in the next five years? But we can't say that anymore because a year is like 10 years. Things are happening every day, every week, every month. You don't know what's going to happen. It is unbelievable. And with everything that's happened in the last, since the pandemic, um, oh, my eyes itching. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, I could scratch it out of my eye. Uh, growing up, it took 10 years for things to slowly change, for things to happen. And it was a, be it was a better time in a lot of ways then. And now, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of craziness. And you say, wow, what are, what's going to happen? You know, and they speculate. They try to scare us. And, you know, there are realities of things that are going on. <clears throat> of course, I talked about it in Crushing It for Christ today. It doesn't really matter if you know God. I'm not going to go into religious stuff. That's another video. But for me, that's where I always go when I start to worry about something. But, you know, really, it, it is interesting. What's Where am I going to be? And... What are the plans? Where are you going to be? Are you going to sell and downsize, become a minimalist? Are you going to buy and grow? Are you getting ready to retire and get your Social Security? Are you going to not wait any longer and start collecting it now? Are you going to rebuild and stay in Florida? Are you going to move to Florida? Are you going to move out of Florida? Are you going to move to another state? Are you leaving California? A lot of people have been leaving California for, you know, years now <clears throat> because of the affordability. Oh, and we'll make another video about that. Uh, not about that, but the big time raise on Social Security. Speaking of Social Security, I think I'm getting $43, uh, 2.5% uh, increase in what I get now. It's about $1.44 a day. And you can totally see how the government realizes that the 20% roughly inflation that we actually have, that we actually do need every bit of that 2.5%. We really do need, you know, so they came through for the $40, you know, on our checks every month next year. I mean, only if you make a larger check. If you're a smaller check, you won't quite get to 40, but still pretty good, right? Not... What kind of, and then now, you know, Medicare costs, your Part B will go up. <clears throat> but this has really been for 40 years, what they've done. They haven't, there hasn't been, aside from two years ago, the big 8.7 increase. But I can't see, but you know how they do it. They only count uh, September and October, or um, August, September, and October. They only count these last few months of the year to determine the COLA. So all that back in January, February, March, April, and all that, when you were seeing prices accelerating, has nothing to do with the decision they made about the big increase you're going to get next year. But hey, I look at it like this. That's the way it's always been, except a couple of years ago. But if I called you up and told you I'm sending you $25, $40, $50 every month, for the rest of your life, in addition to everything else you got coming in, would you turn it down? <laughs> of course not. So, you know, we're going to take everything we can get. But we still need to um, work our side hustles and, you know, do what we can. Uh, you know, I got a little niche going on here living in a camper. Uh, you can figure out your own uh, to way to make your money go better. But what's going to happen? You know? Holidays are coming. 
That's always a fun time. Let me tell you something about the holidays. Here in Sarasota, it is beautiful. Uh, they are already starting. I saw them today. They were driving those buckets so you can drive and, it, and it, you can move it on your own with the controls and it lifts you up and you can hang those Christmas lights and they're going to be building so much over on University Parkway near Lakewood Ranch. I'm going to video for you. You're not going to believe it. It's, it's better than anything you've ever seen in your life. I don't know anywhere else in the country that does an ex, ex, uh, extravagant uh, holiday decorations. Let's call them what they are. Christmas decorations more than we do here in Sarasota. And they have to start now uh, because it's already mid-October. I knew they started in October because I think they got everything going on by Thanksgiving to enjoy for the whole, you know, holidays through the new year. So they'll be doing it. They'll be peering, but they don't light everything until they get a lot of it done. But they wrap every palm tree, every palm frond, every bush, and they use these digital LED lights that work with the music, that blink all throughout the mall area over there and everything. My voice is giving out again like it did in uh, Bullhead City. It's not like I'm yodeling. Anyway, that's coming, so I'm excited about that. That's always an up thing. Um, so the golf, it's coming. I mean, this was just right after the hurricane, a lot of rain. I'm sure the golf course is soggy. The weather's changed. It's actually very pleasant outside. And um, so we're definitely hitting that little round ball <clears throat> when I get over my yodeling lesson. And... Um, And that's, that's, that's the case. But uh, this is kind of putting this behind me now. And I know a lot of people are trying to put it behind them and get their lives going again, their normal life, from these three darn hurricanes that came through here. Now, I know a lot of you are watching me in Kentucky, Virginia, California. You're like, we didn't get no hurricane. Well, you heard about it. And it's, it's, it's hell. When you have to leave and board up. I mean, I saw one house, they, he, they just took nails and boards and just nailed them to the end of the house over their windows. They must not be living in there. I don't know. I'm trying to save it. But a terrible thing, Mother Nature. She can be very, very vicious. Don't underestimate it. And those tornadoes that spun off of it all the way over to the East Coast in West Palm, Fort uh, Pierce, Port St. Lucie, the northern counties of West Palm Beach, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy uh, weather state with a hurricane uh, deal. And the tornadoes come here, too, from the thunderstorms. Enough about weather and enough about carnivore. And time to uh, put this brand new clean sheet with a good thread count. I bought a good one. On my queen bed with my memory foam. Right here. I can't, can't see my hand. Anyway, make that up. I hate doing it. I have to pull, I actually have to pull the bed out from the headboard so I can tuck it in back there. It's kind of a, a real royal pain. But it's going to be so comfortable tonight. I'm going to get the air going. In fact, I'm going to turn the air on right now. It's hot. I live in Florida, baby. Florida. So, golf, diet, work out, and talk to you in the next one. Crush it. Look what she made Fred. This is penne pasta with meatballs. Oh, my gosh. But she made me the lemon chicken. It's delicious. And there's hers. Look at that. What a meal.